Boop, da -doop, da -doop. Oh, it's true. Hey everyone, this is Alex. And Adobe just released this week Photoshop version 22 and Lightroom version 10. In this October 2020 version, in the Lightroom Classic version 10, there is new improvement on the speed of editing with certain tools. There's new adjustment control, which you can color grade your pictures. There's also enhanced zoom. Enhance. 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 And there's a... Give me a second. Let me click here. Let's let's ignore, ignore that for now. And there's also... Oh, let me do that first. And there's also... Oh, wait, there's... Okay, something else. Well, let's, let's ignore that for now. You know what? I'm gonna come back with the Lightroom classic features and the new stuff. I'm not actually going to compare the speed of the old version and the new version. I'm gonna try. So subscribe for that and hit the bell icon to get notified for that. But today I think I want to talk about when to update or upgrade your software. And I'm gonna go deep dive, but I'm gonna still make this video short, hopefully. <laughs> for the sake of simplifying this video, I'm gonna say that upgrade and updating will be the same thing. So I'm gonna say update through all this video. But in the real world, upgrading usually means that you're gonna have to do a lot of work and updating is like simple that's not always the case for example firefox or chrome chrome i, I think is at version 80, 86 and firefox 82 i think they're racing to get the version 100 they're gonna be the first software to get to the version 100 it doesn't mean anything but usually that first number is the one when it's an upgrade and all the subsequent numbers dot something it's an update. And I'm gonna talk about software only. For example, Lightroom, Photoshop, DaVinci Resolve, Pro Video, Premiere, all those softwares. And I'm not gonna talk about, for example, Windows, Mac, uh, Linux, iOS or iPad. Although that I might use some examples in that because all those updates actually had their shares of difficulties. Yeah. In an update, what could possibly go wrong? Let's look at the little video of what happens when you release a software a little bit too much in advance. This is an old video. Let's plug it in. It's gonna say, hey, I see you plugged in a new device and it's gonna load in the appropriate drivers. You'll notice that this scanner build, whoa. <laughs> Moving must, right must, along. That must be uh... It must be why we're not shipping Windows 98 Absolutely, yet. <laughs> absolutely. It's a classic, but that actually also happens with Apple products, uh, Windows products, Adobe products, all the products. So how do you want to update and have the less hassle possible, have the less bug possible when updating and get more stability and productivity while updating? So there's a few rules to do, to go through, and I'm gonna list them here. So first thing first, do not update on day one. Resist the urge to update on day one. Your favorite software is saying, hey, there's an update for you. Do you want to skip it? <laughs> Just skip it. And put it in your agenda or your calendar to a week, a week later, because guess what? Do you want to be the guinea pig? Because you're gonna be somehow some sort of an experiment if you update on day one. Oh yeah. And they all had their share of problems on day one. Let's keep on with the list. Second, are you on a big project and everything is going fine? Then don't update! Everything is working fine. Don't update. It's butter and bread, cookie and milk. It's, it's going perfectly. Don't update. You'll be able to evaluate that after your big project. Now, there are some exceptions, but we'll get on that later. Third, if possible, don't update on a dot zero version. The dot one version is just around the corner. You can wait a little bit because maybe it's a week away, maybe it's a month away. Just like the rule number two, where you're gonna be the experiment, leave that to others. They're gonna be the experiment. And guess what? Even if some companies test their software on millions of machines, 
doesn't mean that it's gonna work for you. So just wait a little bit for the dot one version at least. So there might be some reason, actually some good reasons to actually update. And one of them is maybe some features that you actually need. So there's usually with every software, depending on which one, a summary of what this software or this new update will bring to the software. For example, one thing you might need is actually to use raw pictures from the A7S 3 which you bought or maybe you have or the Sony A7C and now you want to use those raw pictures natively in Lightroom Classic. So you're gonna have to need to update. You don't have any choice unless you want to convert to PNGs and stuff like that and complicate your life. In this case, that might be one reason that you actually need to update. But if you don't need those updates, immediately just wait for the dot one version and you'll be fine too you'll still have all the updates just a little bit down the road and the last reason of course is do you have the time to update because updating your software usually sometimes it's like like that firefox chrome these are updating pretty easily you just restart the browser and it's done but for lightroom well in this case you need to upgrade your catalog and download the whole thing, which we're gonna clutter your machine because Adobe Cloud Creative Auto Updater is so clumsy and your internet connection is gonna be saturated so you won't be able to go on the internet at the same time. So yeah, you need to actually leave it there a couple of minutes. So if you don't have the time, obviously, push that back down the road and do it later. Wait, I have another reason downtime sometimes there are some period of your work area or your leisure area where you actually have time or more time for example some industries are more active in the summer others in the winter so obviously in the downtown period that's a good time to upgrade all of your softwares if you need to my name is alex thanks for watching guys hopefully this video was instructive for you and these are the golden rules of updating something and hopefully it's useful for you subscribe for more hit that bell icon and i'll see you in the next video do the live view with the canon mark ii five all the new features and i'm gonna show you so is it a good time to update your software Do you want to be the piggy, piggy, piggy pig? Hopefully guys, you like this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I said hopefully two times in the same sentence.